The B-Audio is working on directed energy systems that will have short medium and long term goal, but the main aim will be to develop different variants of up to 100 kW power. The DRDO has been working on the Kali particle beam system to target incoming missiles and aircraft, but this highly secretive project is nowhere near to be operational. The Indian Air Force and Indian Army needs at least 20 tactical high-energy laser systems that have a range of 8 km in Phase 1 for small aerial targets and radar systems, and they should be increased to a range of over 20 km in Phase 2, and can be used from ground and aerial platforms. The DRDO has developed two anti-drone directed energy systems, which includes a trailer-mounted laser system with 10 kW power to engage aerial targets at a range of 2 km, and the other is a compact tripod-mounted laser system with 2 kW power with a range of 1 km, and both these systems is all set to start mass production with the help of local industry. After showcasing a flight of 22 seconds at more than 2 km per second in the recently conducted test, the DRDO has shown that the indigenous scramjet engine has gained maturity, and now the hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle is moving to the second phase of testing in 2021, when the scramjet engine will be tested for a longer duration of 60 to 180 seconds. Officials have said that the technology demonstrator must sustain hypersonic combustion in Mach 6 speed for about 240 seconds to move to a hypersonic cruise missile prototype stage with a range of 500 km, and ultimately aim to achieve 1000 km range in the next series of tests. As the hypersonic system will also be used from frontline ships, the DRDO will need to develop a new smaller and powerful solid fuel booster motor for the first stage as using the Agni-1 is not practical for naval ships. In a major development, the cost of F-35A has now fallen to $80 million, and is expected to fall to $77 million in 2022, which means that the fifth-generation aircraft now costs less than the F-15EX that has been recently offered to the Indian Air Force under the 114mm RCA project which is a significantly upgraded fourth-generation aircraft costing around $88 million per aircraft. U.S. officials have said that Lockheed Martin has also brought down the cost per flying hour by a huge margin of 40 percent. The Indian Air Force's Electrical and Instrumentation Training Institute has put out a notice seeking interested companies for supplying a virtual reality simulator system, which are capable to capture and create virtual reality training modules. The Electrical and Instrumentation Training Institute is responsible for the training of ground technicians in functions of electrical and instrumentation, and are involved in the maintenance of various aircraft and missiles that arrive at the maintenance units and base repair depot of the Indian Air Force. Chinese media has released a footage that shows that the Chinese Army is testing a new multi-purpose 12 by 12 hybrid gasoline electric powered heavy load transporter vehicle, that are designed to carry new solid-fueled mobile into continental ballistic systems. No additional technical information is currently available, but it would be interesting to know why the Chinese military has shown interest in a hybrid vehicle as missile carrier. Russia had also unveiled a 16 by 16 carrier in 2018, but the power plant was a classic diesel engine.